A new year means a new district attorney for Dallas County, and today Faith Johnson became the first African American woman to hold that office in the county, and she was sworn in with an awful lot of supporters. Fox 4's Natalie Solis was there for the ceremony. Natalie. Well, Heather, attorneys who've practiced in Dallas County for decades, who've been through this office and been to other swearing-in ceremonies, tell me that this was the largest turnout that they have ever seen. Now, Republican Faith Johnson calls herself a servant leader. She gave very animated remarks after her swearing-in, and at least in personality, she seems like a departure from what we've seen in recent years. And will, to the best of my ability, preserve, protect, and defend. Preserve, protect, and defend. Chief Justice Carolyn Wright administered the oath to Johnson and then to the 350 prosecutors and investigators who will serve under Johnson's administration. Plenty of local dignitaries were there today, but perhaps one of the most notable lending support, Bishop T.D. Jakes, who said Johnson attends his church and is also a close family friend and confidant. Johnson says she plans to help the DA's office regain public trust by making it more transparent, sharing as much as possible with the media and the public, and she also plans to better utilize satellite offices in the community so there's a higher likelihood people file cases. Offices are already there. All they need is some of the people to kind of come in and out to make that happen. We want to make certain that people uh, will, uh, won't be uh, deterred from uh, filing cases. Retired Judge Mike Snipes, a Democrat, will be Johnson's first assistant DA. Most recently, he presided over the trial for Eric Williams, sent to death row for the Kaufman County DA killings. Johnson says she actually started work about three weeks ago, meeting with commissioners and other elected officials because she says running the DA's office is a team effort. Now, Johnson says she also plans to have a strong conviction integrity unit uh, to determine who's innocent and to vigorously prosecute others. The person to head up that unit still has yet to be named, but she says the position is important enough that that person will report to her directly. Heather? All right, Natalie Solis, live. Thank you.